Are you, st- are you still based in KZN? I'm still... Well, I've been... I, I came to Gauteng in 2005. Yeah. And I was working, was here, I'm, I mean, like for 14, 15 years. And then I last year I decided after lockdown, I was like, okay, let me uh, go back home. Because okay. lockdown was very hard. Yeah, yeah. But I thought I was going to be there for six months because I was just hanging out in Bali, so by the beach, taking a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, That's good. Just chilling. Yeah. And then, uh, well, I came back and I was like, no, Gauteng is not it for me anymore. So I went back to KZN. And give me the contrast because sometimes we... Mm-hmm. Urban people, mm. we can get caught up in the energy of the city. Mm. That wherever we go, we want that energy with us. Mm. Until you are a dude to say, wait a minute, mm. I just need to take a break. And that break mm. brings out the realization that, wait a minute, maybe mm. that energy is not necessarily for me right now. How, you, you must be then be able to... What's the word? Be emotionally aware of who you are, isn't it? It 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 is. Um, well, for me, I've I, I've always been, you know, emotional. I, I came to Gauteng to to work. Yeah. And and I worked. You yeah. Know, I was I was a journalist. It's it's a job. It's like you don't know your knock of time. Yeah. It was hectic. A story uh, is a story. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it was just that hectic. Um. So, but I I'd always wanted made time for my space i love being alone i love being in quiet places okay for instance i live in centurion yeah it's a rural area it's yeah like, yeah you know, it's oh, not like peri eben yeah it happens a lot yeah um so and and i i i go away a lot yeah. on my own Oh. Um, yeah, because I, I I love that. I love being on my own. Right. So it was, um, you know, Gauteng, Jobek, because I lived in Jobek when I arrived. It was great when I was that young, yeah. you know, and it was fascinating and, and all of that. Yeah. But but also for me, the whole experience of living here wasn't, wasn't just fun, you know. Yeah. Yeah. My work was very straining. I yes. was not doing, you know, the parties. I was writing about serial killers and crime yeah. and, mm. and all of that. Mm. So it was, yeah, a bit uh, uh, heavier yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, so when I left, when I eventually left journalism, I decided to focus on just the writing. Yeah. So at that time, I had so much time for myself. Sure. You know, because then I write at night. Yeah. If I don't feel like it, I don't do that. Yeah. I don't write. Yeah. Um, oh, that freedom must be something yeah, else. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's great. Um, so at that time where I had all the time, you know, I had, I could sit down and just look at my life and figure out what I want to do. Okay. And yeah, just going home was one of those things. I think yeah. my family, for me, it's my family yeah. and friends. Yeah. It's my dog. Yeah. It's <laughs> my <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Yeah, his name is Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ginger. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> woo, woo. Yeah. it's my dog. It's just uh, my happiness and just me being able to be very much in touch with, with myself yeah. and the things that make me happy. You already touched uh, uh, on, on, uh, on, on two things that speaks to exactly what we're talking about. Mm. Hashtag that chapter must end. Mm. What does it take for Dudu? to cut mm. the monthly paycheck mm. and focus on passion. I mean, that chapter for it to end, whew. Mm. So, it, it was, uh, it actually, um, well, I mean, there's two things. Uh, where I was working, uh, the paper closed down. And then uh, I made the decision uh, that I'm not going to find another find another job. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was like, okay, this is where it ends. It, had, it, it was something that I had been planning and thinking about for a long time. I just did it come it sooner happen. than you thought you would need it, to implement it. Uh, it. I was ready. I oh, really, okay. I really wanted to go mentally. Uh, yes, I really wanted to go. I mean, basically, I mean, I mean, the truth is, I was making more money 
with my book side had hustled in a while. I get it. So it was a <laughs> parallel process, which, which explains a lot then. Uh, yeah. It was like, I'm tired. I don't need this job. I don't need this. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so um, when, it, when it happened, because it just happened, you know, you wake up one morning going to work and then you are told at 4 p.m. that, well, That's this it. is the last day. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, um, I think it was sort of, I don't want to say this because a lot of people, it was painful for a lot of people yeah. you know they lost they lost their jobs yeah. but for me it felt like yeah this is it you this know is it. it's a it's a it's a blessing i can now focus focus on this so and then i decided i'm i'm not going back to a wow. nine to five i yeah. will not do that and the clarity of mind there and 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 and, and you've qualified it i mm. get it now the second part that you've also mentioned about the chapter must end mm -hmm. is you living friends and the life you've made here yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> also, another thing is that uh, most of my friends are from back home. Okay. I've made friends here. Yeah. Um, but also our friendship is not just centered around. It's not geography. You know. Yeah. I know. I know their homes. I know where they come from. Even if, even the ones that are not from KZN, I know where they come from. Yeah. You know, I know all of that. So I don't. I, just, I don't feel like I left them. I feel like I left just the place. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, how do it always been me? I, I still have to come back here yeah, 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 yeah. because the work is here. But um, yeah, it it really was just, you know, I've I've done what I came here for. I need to I need to go back. I came here with the suitcase and the blankets. Yeah, you know, I left. And when you left, too. obviously, you also left people who were anxious for you. Mm. Um, when you came back, were they still there? Um, yeah. Because that's the same voice, isn't it? Mm, it is. Because the very same voice that was fearful for you mm -hmm. is the same, very same voice that now gets even more anxious when you come back home. When I come back home, yeah. Look, I, 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 I think, um, I think for me, because I never really lost touch with anything or anyone in mm. between the, you know, between two, the yeah. the two places. I've I've always just been. Um, rooted in in in, in both mm -hmm. so um i think it's it's really when it comes to my relationships with with people mm -hmm. it where i am does not matter at all ah. you know, it does it it does not you had to teach that obviously <laughs> because you know how it is when when i'm uh, friends with dudu and i really like our time with dudu mm -hmm. i want to have more and more and more of that mm. and maybe somewhere along the line the fact that she's a journalist yeah. has taught me that uh, you look know, as much as I really enjoy our friendship, mm -hmm. I have to really give her time and space. Give her time. Yeah, but also the thing about me is that I'm the friend that uh, we, we can stay and not talk for two months, but mm -hmm. we both know that there's nothing wrong. Yeah, you know, we yeah, are. I think yeah. everybody understands. So me then, you, you 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 have found then the the formula of making true friendships. Then um, I have. Are you intentional? I am. I am. I, I just really, um, everyone who is in my life and they are my friend or my family, they know that they can call me anytime for mm -hmm. anything. Even if we don't talk for two years, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is not, it's yeah. not like we, yeah. there's there's a problem between us. You know, when we hook up again, the energy is going to be the same. And but the very same discipline has lost your friends. Um... Or acquaintances that could have been friends. Yeah, I think well, maybe. But also, I really have new friends. The friends I have are people that I come a long way. <laughs> you don't make new it friends. Have, well, I do here and there, but I'm not the person who's just gonna have new friends. Um, just you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. I think I think people think my circle is very is very big. Okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people. But I'm, I'm known by a lot of people. Yeah. But also, my my circle is very small. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot of people. of people or a lot of friends. Um, but it has. I think I think um, with some people, uh, it's very hard to to understand, you know, different personalities. Maybe it's hard to understand my personality that I'm this person who wants to be left alone sometimes mm -hmm. and that I do well on my own. And you find that you meet somebody who yeah. who wants to hang out every day, wants to call, yeah, wants yeah, to yeah. Vi WhatsApp video call every day. Yeah. And I cannot and do no that. And how... No. <laughs> no, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
no, it's different with uh, somebody you are involved romantically. In yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But yeah. you know, with friends, it's like we, you know, we yeah. get, we all get to understand. It's, that, it's, it's a beautiful space, especially it, when you have surrounded by people who love, respect, and enjoy that too yeah. about who you are, right? Yeah. Who allow you just to be. Yeah, and yeah. it's important for me as well to allow them to be True. Um, who they I'm are. I'm going to ask you a very cliched question, but I already know the answer to it. Okay. And I will tell you why I'm answering. I'm, 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 I'm asking that question. I'm talking to Dudu, and uh, that is Dudu Busani, the author of uh, Lomu, the wife, the series. So um, already, I've already been picked on because when I did the throw forward, I said, it's a trilogy. And then, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> apparently you have a hive. They're like, yeah, 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 booty. You better ask. <laughs> Don't just say. I was like, okay. Okay. She will explain it just now. However, we're still getting to know the parts that I think have never really been told. Are you happy? Am I happy? Are you happy? Um, I'm happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think right right now yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. in this period, maybe yeah. like this month or something, yeah. I'm I'm in a I'm in a happy sp space. Yeah. I'm very busy and very anxious because my book is coming of course. Um soon. But even but, in that anxiety? Yeah. I am man. I'm 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 happy. I think it, it also comes uh from the fact that I'm actually very proud of myself. Well done. Um and uh I'm just making a lot of decisions that are kind of life changing and I'm yeah. I'm 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 at a place where I'm looking at, at things and, and, and I'm like, no, but I know normally this is how things are done. This mm -hmm. is what thing what people expect. Yeah. And I'm like, no, but I don't want all that. I want to get on a plane and just travel the world. I want oh, to go nice. to Senegal. I want to go to yeah, yeah, yeah. like Cameroon. I want, I want to go. That's what I want to do with my yeah. life. I don't want to... Uh, yeah, you know. And I don't you are have, in that space right now. Yeah, I don't want to have like a a, a a huge house with this and that <laughs> there, so I can take pictures and put them on Instagram and yeah. be like, oh, home, home. This no, is me. I want to go to... Kenya, I want to dance with the Maasai people. Chesa. I want to, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what I want to do. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah, I think I've gotten um, over the part where people say, no, but you're not serious about life. I mean, you're 40 years old. You should be settled and, mm. you know, doing mm. this and this. But I don't want to do that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The power of choice. Okay. You have failed my, my, my oh. acid test. <laughs> the, am I happy? <laughs> yeah. I am happy. No, no, of course. Um, and the reason I asked you, um, mm. so no, 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 no one has made me understand it the way um, in in this simplistic form. Sometimes when you ask that question, are you happy? You tend to give that answer, of course. Yes, I am. Okay. But they say the measure of how one, pers how happy a person is, is exactly what you've alluded to earlier. When you say, are you happy? Meaning. Do you have people to call when you are in need? I do. Can they also do the same with you? Yes. And then you are happy. <laughs> you know, that, that, is that, that, is, yeah, is that, that it? To most? <laughs> yes, that's it. And they say that's now, that's the true yes. essence of our humanity, right? Uh, yes. The fact that you can be interdependent with certain people and they can do the same. You know, mm. because as people, as you know, we are social beings. Yeah. It's about yeah. who is around us. Hence the, the saying, you know, show me your friends mm. and I'll tell yeah. you who you are, you know. So, yes, truly you are and, and you sound it. You sound yeah, happy. that's 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 actually it. I, I think that's why I'm happy. I think that's why that's yeah. how I've yeah. survived yeah. life throughout. Even your answers are not even, you're not trying to be philosophical. <laughs> you, you, you're giving it to me. I'm not the one. Unvanished. <laughs> Thank you. Unvanished. And that tells that you are <laughs> secured in who you are, which is fabulous. Mm. This is Dudu, by the way. She, I've read your books mm. via In Committee of Paper. <laughs> 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 because she will sit there reading. Am I right when I say the trilogy? Uh, well, 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 there's five of them now. The sixth one is coming. But also the tree. The, no, it's not a trilogy anymore. It was a trilogy for the longest time because it took me about four years to release the fourth book. 
Okay. So it was so it was like a trilogy yeah. for like four years. So now so you're dropping number six. Yeah. I, I'm forgiven. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now I've seen it. Even my daughter. It's like, yeah, man. What's going on? <laughs> they are. There was, I remember there was one wee hours of the morning. Mm. She, I woke up. You know. You know. Uh, mm. <laughs> so like, cool. What's happening? She's in between the covers of your book. Yeah. Um we write the books we love to read, am I right? Mm. Yeah, that's true. Um and that's 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 what I did. I wrote um a story I would want to read, mm. you know about uh told through um the voice of people I would love to hear from mm -hmm. and um I wrote the books for the people that I know and understand mm -hmm. about them for them and because they're by me mm -hmm. it means that the, the story is by them mm -hmm. so um I actually wrote for um look I write I write for black people Mm. That's like I've never I mean, been. Come on, yeah. I've never been shy about that. Oh yes, you know. Yeah. Um, I write for black people. I write about black people, and uh, my my market, my audience, my is black people. Mm. It's mostly black women. Mm. Um, so I wasn't uh, going to taint the voice or try to be inclusive yeah, to yeah, 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 other yeah. people, and and it is and what it is. It. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I wrote something that I would want to read. People I would want it's to read. It's funny how you can only write this because uh, I, I assume from a point of mm -hmm. you are a good observer. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you wrote the books while being a journalist and you were working mm -hmm. in very dark spaces. Mm -hmm. How is it then possible for you to tap into that creative soft side when you are faced with the harshness of the world? Mm. The thing is that the, 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 there's a love story there, mm. but um, it's also very <laughs> dark, very violent, and very. And I think I write violence very well. I can describe it. Uh, I can paint it because of my you know, exposure. Or, yeah, because yeah. of my journalism experience. Yeah. Um. So it's it's just it's a it's a love story that exists in a very um, dark, toxic, painful. Um, <laughs> you know, trauma type of uh, mm. um, situation. Um, and then somewhere in there, there's um, a love story and um, just two people yep. trying to heal, trying to survive, trying to, you know, love each other through, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of negative things around them. I once spoke about compassion fatigue mm. on this show. And then how it affects nurses, teachers, mm. journalists. Mm. Meaning, for them not to lose the compassion for what they see on a day-to-day -day basis, they need mm. to go somewhere mm. to offload. Yeah. Was you writing the books your way of offloading? Mm, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. How were it, you coping was, with the harsh it, world? It was, uh, because, I, and when I write at Lomo, the first one, because I was in that, in that, 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 that space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, yeah, I was probably doing some crazy court trial. Okay. And then, and I was writing the book. So with, with us, I think with me, that's, that's how it worked for me. The moment I, 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 I would sit maybe in court for, a whole day, obviously. It's, yeah. it's, it's usually like 10 a.m. to 4 a.m. Yeah. And, um, you know, you're listening to a woman testifying about being raped. Sure. And Ana Anais Mat is sitting here, you know, in front of you. Yes. And there's this woman here testifying about that. And you have to listen to it. You listen to it because then you, because you have to write about it. Mm. So for me, the... the I, I would detach when I wrote the story down and... and, and, and send it to my editor yes. and um, as, the, as soon as it was published there was just well now it's the other people are dealing with yeah, it yeah. I've dealt with I've, yeah. I've you know I've let it go yeah. but then the next day I'd be back there so <laughs> it was always just like yes, yes. so until until I got I, I, I sort of kind of got used to living yeah, with this yeah, where yeah. I I felt like um, I don't know if I was lying to myself where I would 
feel like, well, it, it doesn't affect me anymore. You felt a little then, des desensitized. Yeah. Yeah. But then when you do that, um, you convince yourself that you are there. This is this is what is sure. happening. And then it hits you one day, could be next month or 10 years Ooh. from now. And then it, and then there's a trigger and Ay. it hits you. Ay. So, but when I was writing, I was in Why that. am I feeling so much pain from just that? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. I was just in that space. I was, I, yeah, it was all just happening. If you just tuned in, this is Dudu Busani Dube, the author of Klomu the Series. She's dropping number six, seven. Six. Six. Tell me more. <laughs> Love it. Listen, Love she it. is Love smiling. It. She is dancing. <laughs> I love it. I love the song. I love Zoe. I love everything about her. I love all her music. Wow. Everything. Isn't she just the one? Uh, she's amazing. And her star is just is shining brighter now. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Ise <laughs> Kazini. All right. Kutulo says hi. Oh, hi, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hanging out with my friends. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Flo. Yes, <laughs> that's my friend right there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Good to look. Flossing on us. It's okay. Yeah. Is this the end? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yo, man, it's been like, it's it's been, I mean, in 2020, what? Is, I mean, in two years, it's going to be 10 years. Sure. Of this yeah and uh yeah man i it's it's uh we are the, everything has to i know and i said, amply titled the end. end yeah look um well that's uh, no the t it's the end of something yeah in the story okay you know it's just it's you've not, answered it's my next question simple. thank you <laughs> it's not as <laughs> it's not as simple as that yeah, i mean it's it's yeah. not just because it's the last book yeah. and I, I just put in the end but it's the end of something i think people will, will realize that when they read the book but um yeah i had said that um i'm stopping at book number six this oh, you book. did say? I did say. Um, How did you know? I was like, no, I, well, I just decided. Hey, but no. but that, you know, why, let me just, uh, I mean, I've been doing this for the longest time. And I was like, okay, let me just stop while I I still, I, I'm still enjoying it and I still mm, have a story. Mm. Um, because the thing about me is that I don't, um, I know I have a lot of readers. I know if I could release a book yeah. every you know, yeah. every year. Yeah. And like, uh, uh, what's yeah. her name? Daniel Steele. Every time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's yeah. will, it will sell. It yeah. will be a bestseller. But I don't do that. Like, I don't, I don't milk it. I don't release books just for the sake of releasing it. I like that. I, I'm, I, I do take my work very seriously. I, I do not release a book and, until I'm sure about it and until I think it's ready. Yeah. And I'm happy about it. So, I need to respect my readers, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm not just going to be throwing stuff. Um. So, I said, uh, at number six, it's going to end. Mm. Um, and then I, uh, yeah, I've written the end. But also, you know, at this point, uh, I thought I was ready <laughs> to let go. But as I, was, as I was writing this book, I was like, no, actually, yeah. I still need to explore this. I still need to, you know, I don't know if these people, you know, like <laughs> these are my people. I know. <laughs> these, these are my characters. Yeah. They like they live in my head. Like yeah. every one of them is just a yeah. A part of me um so i i was like yo like am i gonna be able to live without them am I, yeah am i going to be but i was like okay let me write the end and but what i did was i i left some space for like the story could still continue yeah. whether i'm going to continue it or it's, not that's the question that's, mark yeah that's yeah. a question mark yeah. i'll see but uh I, I i sort of i've left it uh in another cliffhanger where yeah if I decide that I want to go on with it, I, I can. But as it is now, you know, it's... You're happy done. with it. Yeah, it's it's the end. I might or might not yeah. continue. Um, because, I mean, inevitably we have to ask then what's next. Yeah, like, but 80% is, um, it's the last one. Only 80? Well, 80 because I mean, eight. You know, if you know the Pareto principle, 
you know, uh, <laughs> 20 is a lot. Eh? It can change things, um, can bring a new world. Well, yeah, it, it can. It but can. I mean, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> so, well, but 80 is larger. So, a large part of me thinks this is it. This is the end. Musicians, producers, what they normally do is when you start out, Obviously, you have learned a few things and you're mm. applying them and you give it your all, you punch through and the industry welcomes you. You continue the industry even, you know, supports you even more. Mm. When you ask them, have you gone back to your first project? They'll say, no, I'll never. <laughs> I'm like, why? Like, oh, I cringe because mm. I know better now. Mm. You? I don't know. I, 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 I always say, <laughs> I will never. I'm. I'm going. Obviously, I will. I will never stop writing. I mean, it's. It's yeah. what I do. It's yeah. where my happiness is, and yeah. I yeah. can't. I cannot do it. I think yeah. you also cannot do radio yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 So, um, I always say I will never write a book like Shlomo the Wife mm. ever again. I will never be able to. Yeah. You know, um, because at that time I had I had nothing like nothing was diluting mm. my writing i wasn't it was just it, it was as as honest as yes. as possible it was yeah, just yeah. my creativity was super super honest at that time um you know i had nothing to refer to or nothing influencing yeah. how i was telling the story so it's it will i think it's for me to always be the best uh, and most most honest story I've ever told. Sure, sure. That, yeah, it's it, it, for me. It will always be the best thing that I've ever done. I see all the books that come after it, and people will be like, "Oh my God, it's yeah. you know the story t- telling has improved a lot. You know, you are going into this and that." Mm-hmm. But for me personally, that will always be just the one thing that I put my everything in. While you do that, and you excelled at it. Mm-hmm. And hence the success of it. Mm. You can't help get invitations from others to say, wait a minute, we love how you write, we love how you think. Come and join us here. Come Mm. and join us here. Can we have your skill here, your Mm. insights here? Mm. How and how did you know which to say yes to on or why did you say no to all of them? Um, um... Look, I, I I do work outside writing, okay. which is uh, obviously related to literature and, and and all of that, and I get paid for that. Which is yeah. what do you do? Yeah, it's yeah uh, you gotta pay me for that. Of course. Um, and uh, <laughs> that's what I do. I mean, so I I I do that, but also with me, um, especially when it comes to writing, I I work alone. That's one of my um, okay. flaws. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that I need to work alone. But I have had, and oh, also another thing, I don't have a problem saying no to mm. opportunities. Like I, I know my limits. Okay. Um, I know how much I can take, and I know I'm lazy sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't do the work. But I have worked with other people. Um, it's it's just um, I say no if you're not planning to pay me. One. Unless maybe, yeah, unless maybe I'm in the mood of doing stuff for free. Pro bono, yeah. So, yeah, I, I say no in that. Yeah. Um, I say no if I feel like it's uh, um, it's not a partnership thing where I feel like you want me to do something for, for you. Yeah. In that. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I say no to people who come to me and want me to... Do, uh, say somebody comes to me and says, I've written a book, I want to publish it. Um, so, and they don't come to me with that, okay, do, do I've done this, I've researched this, mm. I've, uh, I've, um, I've found, you know, I have all the information about how to publish a book. Mm. Um, I just need you to advise me on, you know, how to do this and yeah, that yeah. with the the distribution and all of yeah, that. Yeah. Um, so I think it's, it's still the, second point where yeah. somebody wants me to do the work for them, for them. Yeah. 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 yeah and um i also do say no to things that i really don't like doing like uh i don't like doing tv <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's you know what it's, it's, i'm glad you said that because not it you sound so what's the word i'm looking for we, when you tell people i don't like 
TV. Mm. I, do, I don't, I, I just really do not like working on TV. It's on, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. don't get it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, You're not that way wired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that way wired. So let me be me in my yeah. space, mm. right? Mm. And do that. Yeah. than for you to pull me into yours because there the energies mm. won't defi- will definitely not communicate, right? Yeah. I tried once. I feel dismally. Yeah. Yeah. I can. Um, can I pay you any amount of money to do something that just will stretch you a little? Um, stretch me? Um, yeah. Uh, but if I... Look, man, and, and I have I have to look at it and see if I can do it and if I'm going to enjoy it. Because mm. now I'm at a place where for me it's about it's about passion. It's about something yeah, that I yeah. enjoy. I think I've I, I worked really hard and I yeah. worked too much in yeah, yeah. in my younger years. Yeah. Um. Now I just want to do work that is going to allow me to do other things. Passion is such a big word right now, and when I say right now, I'm talking about the the current era. Mm. And we're even encouraging our younger siblings, mm. relatives, kids to say, listen, go for your passion because that will push you even further, right? Yeah. You and I, we're trained in one thing, mm. but we're doing another. I'm trained as a chemical engineer, mm. qualified, mm. but I'm doing radio. You are a journalist mm. doing writing. Some will say it's connected, right? Mm. Somewhat. Yeah. However... The other one is driven by passion. The other mm. one is driven by ability. Which one must come first? Um, I think passion. You're an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still stuck there. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> so, I think, I think, um, pe- well, I'd say passion, but also that's that's me now. Now. Now, yeah. But when you so look I'm at to yeah. do at 20. Exactly. What would you say to her? Um I would say um skill, work, get a job. Yeah. It's uh yeah, you need you need to have I mean you need to experience the workplace. Yeah. You need to have a salary and get into debt and go to credit bureau and come out and <laughs> Life lessons. You need, to, you need to experience those things. You need to be reckless with money so that you learn yeah, how yeah, to yeah. use it when you are older. I think those are just the things that yes. you need to go through so so you can learn. But also it's Im- important for relations, for discipline, for um um a lot of things to be to just be in your in your in your younger years in a space where you are part of like an organization. Where mm, you work, mm. where you learn about authority, you know, have a boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you can create You're coming back to what to how society works. Yeah. For mm. you to for your passion to work, it needs mm. to also for follow yeah. a particular call it system. Mm. And that system is there. It's there, yeah. You you must try and fit in it mm. as opposed to try and change it. Well, you maybe maybe try and change it when you're yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah, I think because it, you need that because um once you get to a point where you it's your passion that 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 is your income mm. um you need to be wiser i think sure you need to be wiser you need to i can i can have a chat with this woman for days <laughs> so so there's so many so many pockets that we are touching right now and we're not even going deep into them which is fine right now it's yeah. about the book mm. every each book left people with a ah no way. <laughs> she didn't. I can't be... No. And the people are so upset. Like, why, why, why? And now, the end. Yeah. Give me a... There's a carrot, I know. There's a carrot that you're dangling. Come on. <laughs> well, give me... Don't give it away, <laughs> but just give me something. Um, Look, I... Everyone has grown, first of all. Okay. Um, yeah. That's true they number have, one, guys. Yeah, the kids have grown. Um, they t- I, d- I don't know if everybody's going to like or not like how they turned out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> already. <laughs> but I think that I think that the story that I really went into was um, Bande's story. Okay. Um, I think people are going to get to 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 know and sort of under under and. and, and try and understand him um uh there's also i think naledi will also be surprising in terms of how she has grown and changed um and 
yeah, you know, that's it's. I mean, it's the the, the Zulu families like hectic. There's there's always going to be that. So sure. it's um, I, it's I, all I, there. Yeah, there are I, new characters as well. Yeah. Obviously, somebody dies. I can't write a book when nobody dies. It's like. I no one, no one comes back alive. Oh no! I didn't do that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> when is the book coming out? Um, it's coming out on the twenty fifth of August. Oh wow! Yeah. And here you are telling it to us today. Wonderful! Oh, this is an honor. Thank yeah. you. Thank it's on you. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth coming out where? Um, everywhere. Every every bookstore. It's coming out. Uh, yeah. On the twenty fifth, that's that's the day where yeah. all the bookstores will start. Selling. We'll have it. Like all of them. So the copy you have now. Well, this is a, this is like a this is a proof copy. Yeah. It's I printed a, a, a few copies for a book club that yeah. uh, that reads for me, but yeah. I did move many. So I printed uh, these copies and they read mm -hmm. it for me. So that's why it has. Um, and, uh, what do you call watermark? Mm -hmm. So this is just a sort of a dummy copy. Yeah. 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 Okay. But the official copy is printed with a different cover. Thank you for for being a a woman who is exemplary beyond gender. We celebrate you, Thank you. and keep telling your story. Thank you so much. And uh, have a wonderful month. Have a wonderful year. And may all that you wish for come to fruition. Thank you so much. God bless and keep Thanks. shining.